everybody Ann here and today is dump truck day hopefully it's gonna happen I've been up for a couple of hours and for some reason my SD card isn't working so I don't know if my phone's storage which is only a couple gigabytes left will be able to handle this video day but um, we'll just see I may have to take still pictures so whew, I'm taking a deep breath okay the dump truck driver is here He's going to pull this way and back in and hopefully be able to get all the way to that tree over there and pull forward and dump it slowly right in this area. So let's say a prayer. All right, he's going to pull forward and then back in. This belongs to that lady that was here before. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. She put that in. Here he comes. Alright guys. I don't even care if he takes out the mailbox. He can do it. I'm going to stop this and once he gets maneuvered around, I'll start it again. He's giving us a little bit of gravel right there. Right on. Very good. I should get a rake. I'm going to get a rake. Here we're spreading that pile right by the culvert so the dump truck could get in. Mr. Lucas from across the street helped. The truck driver helped. So yes. All right. It's pretty flat. They're going to pull back and dump a little bit more. Mr. Lucas is being awesome. So let's see what the next step is. Just go, dude. Just go. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's making it. He's making it. Keep going, guy. It's getting a little, a little deep, but he's going. He's gonna be all right. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, God. Please, God, please have me, Father. Please. Okay, he's jumping a little bit. There he goes. There he goes. It's not dumping a lot. I wonder if he's going to come back. This is how it's done. It's okay. Even if he gets this part of the drive done and that's it, that's okay. Okay. We've got this part done. He's going to be okay. All right, I'm gonna get to spreading some more gravel and then we'll see what the next step is. So now we're just spreading a few of the piles that he was able to get out. He was able to get a good bit of gravel out there, but it needs to be kind of spread around a little bit. 
he wasn't able to keep up too much speed just because the mud is so slick and he was starting to dig in a little bit. I was getting a little nervous, but we all worked together and we got it to pretty much where we felt he was going to be safe getting in there. I tell you what, it's a lot of hard work. I could absolutely not do this for a living. Oh my goodness. Here he comes. Say a prayer. Please God, please God, please God. Please God. Go baby, go. to remove the audio from this part because when he almost tipped over into that tree I started cursing a little and I was praying and I was cursing all at the same time and oh my goodness I felt for sure I felt for sure he oh 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 is he gonna tip over is he gonna tip over oh my goodness he's gonna dump the rest yep I'm going to do it. Sorry for the shaky camera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. To call me Herman. 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 Herman, give Herman. me a hug. Give me a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You good. have no idea how Next much. Time will be so good. If you don't need any more up there. I am gonna do more. But like I said, if you get in with that bucket, I think it's yeah. you need to get it smoothed up for it rains on. Yep. All right, after the truck driver left, Mr. Luca stayed on for a good another 30 minutes and helped spread gravel. He just kept moving it and moving it. This guy's 77 years old, and I didn't ask him to do this. He just instinctively went and got his shovel and did it. As soon as they dumped that first pile down by the culvert, he just went right to his shed, and he got a shovel, and that's when I got my rake. But as you can see, I'm not nearly as effective at spreading that gravel as he is. It's hard work very hard work. I could never, ever, ever do this for a living. So I have a whole new respect for people who do this kind of work. It's fascinating, but it is really, really hard work, guys. He's left me a nice pile here that I can spread a little bit. And Mr. Lucas across the street, 70, 71 or 77 years old, he works circles around me. And so this is what my drive looks like right now. It's not an even spread, but he was starting to dig into the mud right around these trees. I thought he was going to get stuck, but I can kind of straighten out a little bit more. I've got
got quite a bit of gravel here I can move around. And it goes all the way to the road, basically. So he made it all the way up there, which is uh, a lot further. I thought that we'd only get to about right here. But he made it up there. And we're all the way down here. And let's see what it looks like down at the very bottom of it. Sorry, it's shaking. I'm just not even trying. We made it all the way out here. And this is all covered up, but it's still pretty, I mean, it's still pretty soupy until it sets up. It's going to be hard. But I got gravel. Phew, still got a lot of work to do. Well, guys, I just got back from getting water, and that's a chore. I still have to go carry this big jug all the way up my drive. On my way of doing all that, my sister-in-law, Christine, calls and tells me she has set up a guy with a tractor to come and get this drive, this drive straightened out for me here. <laughs> You've seen the pictures. I'm exhausted. I've got a tractor coming. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Christine. Oh, my God. It's happening. It's really happening, guys. It's happening so fast. Here comes my tractor. Here he comes. He's going to do all the hard work. Woohoo! I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe it. Now guys, I'm not going to film every single little thing about this. Just a little bit here and there. But he made it up that drive easy in that tractor. So this is how it's done. It looks like it's working great. Check it out. Let's see what this big, there was a big pile right there. Look at that. Smoothing it right out. Oh my goodness. Smoothing it right out. It looks like it kind of packs it a little bit. All righty. I'll catch you on the flip side. He just spread that whole big piece, that whole big pile. It's totally gone. Oh my gosh, he's coming back down. <laughs> This is so cool. This is so cool. Coolest thing ever. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. I've never seen this dug. He just keeps going back and spreading it until it is flat. Oh my goodness, it's happening, guys. This is happening. <sighs> this is the most exciting thing ever. Now he's taking a little extra time here to fix the area over the culvert. See? He's spreading that out so it's not so weird. Look at that. You know what? There is something about men moving around, big tractors that is so appealing. Writing up the fine details. This is just the most amazing day. The amazing day. I thought he would have been done 20 minutes ago, but he just keeps doing it and spreading it and making it look better. <sighs> this guy is the master of whatever you call these things. It is looking so much better. It's so much better. I'm walking on it right now and I'm not totally sinking. Now there's a few spots that have some area, bare areas, but that's okay. I can come back and add more later. The thing is, is this part of the drive is solid. It is, I mean, it's basically all solid because even there's still a little bit of gravel in these other spots, but he keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. 
It looks so much better. The tractor is pulling away. He smoothed out the, the gravel. I might need another load eventually, but this is going to stay wet for a while. Here, let me show you. All right, the culvert is completely covered, but that's going to be wet for a long time. But as you can see, this is spread really nicely. And I'm walking on it, and my feet don't give like it did before. Um, he just spread it really well. There's a little spot up there that isn't spread the best. I mean, it's spread the best as could be spread, but it just needs more gravel. So I've got it, guys. It's here. And next, planning for the tiny house. They're supposed to deliver it on Friday. I don't know if it's going to be dry enough, if this is going to be dry enough because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, I don't know if it's going to be dry enough to be able to do this on Friday. So we'll just see. Keep our fingers crossed. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.